ladies and gentlemen we shall soon be witnessing for the first time in the history of kariyappa parade ground and army day parade an offensive drone operation demonstration please sit back हतोत्वापस्यसी स्वर्ग जीतवा बुभोक्षस्य महीम तस्मात उत्तिष्ठ कौंते युद्धाय कृत निश्चय अर्जुन के माध्यम से युद्ध के लिए दृढ़ संकल्प होने का यह संदेश हर सैनिक के लिए एक प्रेरणा है सो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन यू हैव विटनेस्ड दस फार द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ आर ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस एंड आर ग्रोइंग कन्वेंशनल प्रोविस allow us now to give you a glimpse of just one facet of indian army's developing odyssey with the deep technologies of the future devi aur sajno kuch hi palon mein aap dekhenge aadhunik technology par aadharit purnatah swachalit offensive drones ka combat demonstration aatmanirbhar bharat ke rashtriya sankalp ko charitarth karte hue करियप्पा परेड ग्राउंड पर सेना दिवस के इतिहास में पहली बार एक नया अध्याय जोड़ते हुए सिट बैक एंड वॉच ऑफेंसिव ड्रोन ऑपरेशन एज पार्ट ऑफ आर केपेबिलिटी डेवलपमेंट रोड मैप प्लीज टेक योर अटेंशन टू द स्क्रीन टू योर फ्रंट अ कॉम्बेट ड्रोन फॉर्म प्रोग्राम फॉर अ सीरीज ऑफ ऑटोनोमस टैक्टिकल मिशन इज अबाउट टू लॉन्च फ्रॉम मल्टीपल हाइट देवी और सजनो आप अपनी बाई और दाई ओर देख सकते हैं पचहत्तर सशक्त ड्रोन्स उड़ान भरते हुए ये स्वचलित ड्रोन्स बिना किसी मानव हस्तक्षेप के दिखाए गए दुश्मन के इलाके में तकरीबन 50 किलोमीटर अंदर घुसकर अपने मिशन को एक सफल अंजाम देंगे डिस्ट्रप्टिव टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आर ड्राइविंग स्ट्रेटेजिक मिलिट्री अफेयर लाइक नेवर बिफोर From doctrines to operational philosophies to combat capabilities, the all-pervasive impact of technology is indeed staggering. The advent of multi-domain operations, signifying the expansion of conflict from the traditional domains of land, air, and sea to the newer domains of space and cyber, has been driven by the phenomenal pace of technological change. Technology is, in fact, steadily emerging as a critical core combat capability. the indian army in consequence is embracing enabling disruptive technologies with unprecedented gusto from artificial intelligence to autonomous weapon systems to quantum blockchain and robotics we are welding their myriad military attributes into our war fighting we are equally conscious of the fact that if india is to make the successful transition from a balancing to a leading power self reliance in technologies will be critical The Indian Army therefore has undertaken numerous technology initiatives in concert with dreamers, startups, MSMEs, the private sector, the academia, DRDO and DPSUs. One such project is the offensive operations which we are incubating with a Bangalore based startup. Allow me ladies and gentlemen to give you a quick rundown of the target array as part of this morning's capability demonstration. We have 13 targets numbered left to right. from tango 1 to tango 13 depicting various enemy dispositions the tactical array from tango 1 to tango 6 is for the benefit of our honored guests seated to the left of the saluting base targets tango 7 to tango 13 are for the viewing pleasure of our guests seated to the right tango 1 depicts an enemy radar position on the extreme left tango 2 to your left and tango 12 to your right depict enemy mortar positions tango 3 to your left and tango 10 to your right indicate enemy tanks tango 4 and tango 5 to your left tango 8 and tango 10 to your right depict enemy fuel dumps tango 6 and tango 7 are enemy troop concentrations tango 11 to your right is a terror hideout while tango 13 on your extreme right depicts an enemy helipad In addition to these targets ladies and gentlemen there are two landing zones marked as Lima 1 and Lima 2 in the front lawns right opposite you Devi aur Sajno aap apne theek upar dekh sakte hain swachalit aur swadeshi aakraman drones ka dasta 
गौरव और शान से आपके सामने से गुजरता हुआ पूर्ण अनुशासन आधुनिक तकनीकियों से सुसज्जित दुश्मन के ठिकानों को सफलतापूर्वक बर्बाद करने के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार द ड्रोन वॉम लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन एज यू सी इन द स्काई अब is an aggregation of various weight classes and task specific platforms as also kinetic and non kinetic capacities in the execution of its mission the swarm is driven by deep technological collaboration precise synchronization and the power of distributed intelligence all without any human intervention whatsoever offensive drone operations symbolize the beginning of the indian army's journey towards autonomy in weapon platforms as also the transition to digital proficiencies in combat it also signals our deep commitment towards forging the great wealth of our human resources with cutting edge technological prowess to take our combat preparedness to a new high ladies and gentlemen the demonstration today we must concede may not meet all stringent metrics of a viable tactical setting we have therefore telescoped distances and time frames for reasons of safety and viewing ease the swarm of 75 drones dispersed across two drone heights took off at a pre designated time of 112 1142 hours this morning to be precise to carry out a series of autonomous randomized swarming missions across the target area such autonomy is enabled through a complex interface between onboard computers smart and adaptive artificial intelligence algorithms advanced photometry and edge computing for better target designation it needs needs to be emphasized that the execution of the operational task that you will soon witness is entirely autonomous without any human intervention it is driven by continuous satellite feeds digital sea matching and area correlation techniques acronymed as dsmac to enable dynamic targeting pre-programmed as well as opportunity targets can be engaged by drone swarms with equal dexterity and poise ladies and gentlemen the drone swarm is now ready to execute a series of offensive missions if you look towards the center of the parade ground and take a rise to the sky above You will see four mothership drones deploying several child drones to execute precise AI enabled kamikaze kinetic strikes. There you go ladies and gentlemen the child drones have been released. If you look closely you will see four child drones right below their mother drones. The child drones once released will orient, realign themselves to the assigned targets and their release points in three dimensions. The onboard edge computer then uses advanced AI algorithms to optimize the attack trajectory. Once the trajectory is optimized, the drone armed with explosives flies at a blistering speed and crashes into the target thereby just thereby destroying itself along with the target in a typical kamikaze strike. As the child drones prepare for the kamikaze mission ladies and gentlemen, you see another team of drones now entering the mission area from the lift. These drones will carry out a confirmatory reconnaissance using raster scans. They shall then assign targets to individual drones for the execution of a series of pre-programmed offensive missions. Ladies and gentlemen, the offensive drone operations will add a new dimension to the Indian Army's growing capacities in non-contact warfare. It will facilitate the execution of kinetic strikes with surgical precision as deep as 45 to 50 kilometers inside enemy territory. जी हाँ देवी और सज्जनों ये स्वचलित ड्रोन बिना किसी मानवीय हस्तक्षेप के दुश्मन के इलाके में 50 किलोमीटर अंदर घुसकर किसी भी मिशन को अंजाम देने की क्षमता रखते हैं सच लाइक कैपेबिलिटीज़ witness ladies and gentlemen the child drones stabilizing and acquiring their targets in preparation for the kamikaze strikes the kamikaze strikes may i emphasize is a complex maneuver necessitating both speed and precision to achieve the desired effect enabled of course by the convergence of breakthrough technologies in avionics information technology artificial intelligence and the intricate miniaturization of micro munitions The child drones hovering above the center of the parade ground have completed the orientation process, identified and acquired the targets. 
having optimized their attack trajectories, they are now ready to execute the Kamakazi strikes using this map for terminal effect. Please take your attention to the terror hideout Tango 11 on your right to witness the Kamakazi kinetic strike. Ladies and gentlemen, now please turn your attention to the tank on the left to witness a second Kamikaze kinetic strike on enemy tank depicted by Tango 3. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please take your attention back to the screens in front, where you can see a detachment of drones carrying out the search for their targets, technically called as foraging using the onboard AI edge computing. The enemy mortar positions acquired. Enemy tanks identified. FOL dumps acquired. Enemy troop concentrations identified. Even as the pre-programmed targets were being acquired, an opportunity target, namely the helipad at Tango 13, was picked up by a group of surveillance drones at the head of a larger swamp. Consequent to quick and rapid reiterations in terms of IFF and DISMAC, the opportunity target helipad at Tango 13 will now be engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, an opportunity strike on helipad at Tango 13. Please take your attention to enemy mortar position pre-programmed targets at Tango 2 and Tango 12 which are now being engaged by precision strikes by loitering drones. Ladies and gentlemen, Tango 2 and Tango 12. Please watch area FOL dumps at Tango 4, Tango 5 on the left and Tango 8 and Tango 9 on the right for incendiary strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, target FOL dumps. And now look towards Tango 6 and Tango 7 for Airbus engagements of enemy troop concentrations in the open. Ladies and gentlemen, Tango 6 and Tango 7. What you have witnessed today is merely a fraction of the possible lethality that can be delivered in terms of TNT tonnage and kinetic impact. We have restricted the same for obvious reasons of safety. But just imagine into the future as our capacities in swarming grow in weight and sophistication and we graduate to fixed wing class. The lethality and destructive capacities of ammunition delivery will be enhanced by a significant order of magnitude. We now turn to close support operations consisting of hover and drop, land and retrieve and para drop to be carried out by three sets of drones which are now positioning themselves for the task in the center of the parade ground. Ladies and gentlemen, as you watch the drones designated for close support operations are now commencing their descent. For ease of understanding, the logistic drones closer to you on the left and the right lawns will carry out the land and retrieve mission while the drones further away will carry out hover and drop operations. The land and retrieve operations are useful to deliver fragile logistic payloads safely, an attribute of great value, especially when isolated posts in inhospitable terrain must be maintained. The hover and drop operations are carried out whence either the terrain does not permit landing or prolonged exposure while delivering critical payloads may be precluded for tactical reasons. Please take your attention to drones designated for land and retrieve they have landed in front of you to deliver white colored medical payload. On landing, the drones automatically switch off their rotors, thus enabling the ground crew to retrieve and exchange critical payloads. Once the payloads are exchanged, the drones restart autonomously and navigate back to the base station. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, the ground crew approaching the drones to exchange the payloads. Please take your attention to the drones designated for the hover and drop mission. In the meantime, they have also dropped their red colored payloads of vital logistic value from a safe altitude. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your attention to the far end of the lawns where the payloads have been dropped. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the sky above, where the drones are ready to carry out the para drop operations. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the parachutes have been deployed. These operations are conducted when direct payload release cannot be carried out due to tactical, terrain or payload constraints, as also to avoid disclosing the precise location of own troops on ground. It may interest you to know that a swarm of 75 drones can deliver 600 kgs of critical operational, medical or logistic loads through such a mode. And now, having successfully executed the close support operations, the drones are now flying back to their heights. Devi or Sajjano, Manani Pradhan Mantri ke Atma Nirbhar Bharat ki or Bharate Bharat ya Sena ke Sudrad Kadam is Atma Nirbhar ta ka ek mazboot stamp, science, tatha technology, vigyan or takniq ki anant shaktiyon se hi Bharat ya Sena mein offensive drones ka agaz sambhav ho paaya. Our trips with offensive drone operations, ladies and gentlemen, began in August last year when we swarmed a mere five drones. From those humble beginnings, we graduated to a swarm of 20 drones in October 2020, followed by 35 drones in December. Today, we have demonstrated flawless operation of a swarm of 75 drones. It is, of course, enabled by massive technological convergence but more critically by the best team in minds in engineering, artificial intelligence and software program. There is little doubt that military civil fusion, the bringing together of the best and the brightest, the integration of talent of every hue will remain central to the prime ministerial vision of self-reliance. In the ensuing year, we propose to take our demonstrated capacities in drone swarming to a new high. We aspire to grow our capacities in swarming to definitely three and possibly four digits. We shall also add multiple competencies in terms of integration of cutting-edge electronic warfare systems and sophisticated targeting. It will enha enhance the operational efficacy of drone swarms by several notches. Having successfully concluded close support operations, we shall now witness the synchronized landing of the drone swarms on landing zones Lima 1 and Lima 2 in front of you. To execute the landing maneuvers, the swarm leverages distributed artificial intelligence wherein the spatial distribution of drones is used to carry out complex collective park planning. Each drone in the swarm has an on-board computer. This computer receives multiple inputs from sensors which in turn are run through complex AI algorithms, thus allowing the swarm to carry out precise AI-enabled computational tasks in flight without any reference to the ground control station. Having completed the process of collective path planning, the drones are now stabilizing at a common altitude of 15 meters above the ground level to undertake the synchronized landing. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, a representative segment of the drone swarm is now flying past to shard flower petals and expression of gratitude for the faith reposed by the Indian Army in their technological abilities and combat prowess. Such human machine teaming, ladies and gentlemen, will be the critical pathway for the growth of technological capacity in the military in times to come. In front of you, you can see two groups of drones. A drone swarm of nine on the left and ten drones on the right. For executing any operation, the swarm employs distributed intelligence capability implying that there is no leader or follower. Each drone in the swarm is alive to the environment, sensitive to the mission requirements and leverages the onboard sensors and computational resource to ensure success of the swarm in executing any mission that has been assigned to it. Devi or Sajjano, is drone daste ki kabiliyat ka sena mein agaman, humari karik shamata eva marak shamata ko kai guna tak badhae ka, humari saniko ke jokhim bharay kamo mein suraksha ka आदान प्रदान होगा क्षमता दुश्मन के खिलाफ बहुत सिद्ध साबित होगी एंड देयर यू गो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द ड्रोन्स हैव स्टार्टेड द डिसेंट द लैंडिंग ऑपरेशन इन प्रोग्रेस दो अपीयरिंग टू बी एन एंडियरिंगली सिंपल मैनूवर इज एक्चुअली अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑपरेशन व्हिच लाइज एट द इंटरसेक्ट ऑफ न्यूमेरस टेक्नोलॉजीज
and a smooth and spectacular touchdown there for the drone swarm. Landing ka shandar nazara aap ke samach? There are, as we have begun to discover, no limits to technological enterprise, innovation and imagination. When imbued with such a spirit and passion, the Indian Army can, as we have just demonstrated, build robust capacities across the combat spectrum. The novel display of air power and the threat that it poses to the traditional prima donnas of combat, the tanks, guns and dug-in infantry, is merely one facet amidst a plethora of growing capacities and possibilities limited only by the boundaries of one's imagination. Such is the power of convergence in disruptive technologies. The Indian Army, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, is committed to their full-fledged embrace to strengthen our strategic military futures. Vigyan se vivek, vivek se vishwas, or vishwas se vijay will indeed be our defining lit motive in the days and months to come. And finally, in the year gone by, ladies and gentlemen, our resolve was sought to be tested along the line of actual control. As always, we delivered a befitting response epitomized by the heroics of our brave martyrs. On Army Day 2021, we bow our heads in reverence as we recall their sheer valor, indomitable spirit and raw courage. In their everlasting memory, ladies and gentlemen, we present a musical rendition Jaan baaz hum hindustan ke hum sher tere galwan ke A scintillating demonstration of the AI enabled drone swarms gave us a glimpse of how the Indian Army is constantly developing and evolving its technological capabilities to handle new challenges in the constantly changing theatres of war. कतरों बचपन की लोरी भूल गए दुश्मन को धूल चटाने को हम ओढ़ के तेरी धूल गए मेरी दीवाली ईदें सारी पुरबान तेरी रखवाली पे नाने दें हम के बादल आदेश तेरी खुशहाली पे आदेश तेरी खुशहाली पे तू दर्द में डूब के दे जो सदा हर खौफ को कर दे खौफ ज़दा बात आए जो तेरी आन पे जहाँ पास हम हिंदुस्तान के I'm sure they're gonna want it. 
नवबधु की मांग का सिंदूर सीमा पर अड़ा है एक सैनिक बर्फ में चट्टान के जैसे खड़ा है नवबधु की मांग का सिंदूर सीमा पर अड़ा है वो अकेला ही कई सौ मारने की जिद लिए है अपने सब अरमान धागे में तिरंगे के सिए है अपने सब अरमान धागे में तिरंगे के सिए है देश के अमर सपूतों को The Army Day Parade comes to a close, but the spirit of selfless service to the nation at all times and under all circumstances endures and inspires. हमारे वीरों ने अपने त्याग और बलिदान से सदा देश की रक्षा की है, देश को संवारा है, तिरंगे के रंगों को और निखारा है। माँ भारती के सच्चे सपूतों ने हर अवसर पर बहादुरी के नए शिखर छुए हैं भारतवासी ये जानते हैं दुनिया वाले मानते हैं हमारे इन वीरों जैसा कोई नहीं सेना दिवस की अनेक शुभकामनाएं जय हिंद